Hi Cancer, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of October 24th to October 30th, 2022? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Cancer, and then I'm going to see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below the video in the description box that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be, please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone offering you a personal reading, even if they have my name and my picture, please be aware that that is not me. Those are scammers, so please be careful and ignore those messages. All right, let's start with your energy first, Cancer. Spirit, angels, and guys, please show me the energy of Cancer in regards to love for this week. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> All right, first card we have for you, Cancer, is the Page of Wands, Two of Swords in Reverse, Three of Wands, the King of Swords in Reverse, Eight of Cups in Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Page of Pentacles. Okay. So some of you are kind of contemplating here, um, reaching out to someone. Hmm. Oh my God, look at this. Page of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Some of you might be receiving some sort of communication or message or an offer with the Ace of Pentacles that has you thinking and contemplating um, whether you want to accept it or not, or whether this is something you want to pursue or not. It looks like some kind of choice is being presented to you. But with the King of Swords in reverse, you're not very sure about which, which is the right direction for you to take or which is the right opportunity for you to take. All right, let me clarify. Um, just to get to the point here, what's what's going on with that three of wands spirit? Why is three of wands here? The knight of cups, what is going on with all of these offers here? Lots and lots of offers or like opportunities that are opening up for you, Cancer. Tell me more about the three of wands spirit. The Nine of Wands in reverse. So the Nine of Wands in reverse tells me that you don't want to miss out on this window of opportunity. You don't want to continue holding yourself back. You don't want to be your own worst enemy. You don't want to be your own obstacle. 
with the three of wands, it does look like you're interested in in experiencing some kind of change in your life. You're looking out into the horizon, looking out into the horizon, wanting to wanting to transform in some way. Wanting to transform or evolve or change. It's like you feel ready for some kind of change, but you're just not sure which is the right path for you to take. Now, some of you might have like, like multiple like options here in regards to love. Look at all these pages here, page of wands, page of pentacles, page of cups. Some of you have multiple people to choose from. Or this can just mean like, you know, offers that are coming towards you. Doesn't have to be love related. But I do feel like there's one, there's one like offer or one opportunity here that is a very big one with the Ace of Pentacles. But it does require you to step out of your comfort zone with the Three of Wands. It does require you to, you know, take a risk, take a chance. But I feel like you're, you're ready for that change. Mm, why, why is the King of Swords in reverse spirit? Temperance and the Queen of Wands. I do feel like you're a little bit nervous, you know. Some of you might be experiencing like cold feet. I just got right now. Cold feet. What's a page of wands? Seven of swords, eight of swords, four of wands, the lovers. Wow. Page of cups, please. The fool and the three of pentacles. Yeah. In, in regards to love, you definitely have an opportunity here, Cancer, to, to be in a very meaningful connection, a very meaningful relationship with the lovers and the four of wands. It, it connected to the Page of Pentacles, which connects to the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, this hasn't arrived in your life yet. It's on its way. This might be like a prediction for some of you. Some of you haven't seen this, this offer or this opportunity show up in your life yet. And if you haven't, I feel like it's on its way. What's the Ace of Pentacles spirit? High Priestess. Yeah, look at that. High Priestess and the Knight of Swords. Something is opening up for you here. And I feel like it's unexpected, Cancer. With the Knight of Swords, I feel like something is coming towards you faster than, faster than you imagine. Something is opening up for you faster than you imagine. Faster than you'll, um, than you'll realize. And I feel like it, it's unexpected, but I feel like it's something that is going to help you to level up in your life. To, to start some kind of new chapter in your life a positive new chapter in your life. It could be also work-related for some of you with the Fool and the Three of Pentacles. Some of you are going to have a brand new opportunity in regards to work and career. It 
and it's going to open up a lot of doors here for you to progress and to succeed in in multiple ways and we do have the eight of cups in reverse so it does look like some opportunity here is returning back to you an opportunity that had left your life with the three of wands um, there was a separation there was a, a distance here but it looks like with the eight of cups in reverse something is returning back because there's there's still unfinished business or there's still potential to be manifested between you and this situation or this person connection relationship whatever it is Uh, tell me about that Eight of Cups spirit. Yeah, Page of Swords and the King of Wands could be a fire sign that's returning back here. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And whatever is returning back, or whoever is returning back for some of you, um, they've they've been doing a lot of thinking about it. It's not like... Um, it, it wasn't a quick decision for them. It was something that they really um, thought about very deeply before taking action here towards you. But we also have the Knight of Swords here, um, which is another energy that's making an appearance in your life so again for some of you you have more than one option here but it doesn't look like you are going to lose whichever way you take like whichever direction you take I, from what i can see here it looks like you have positive things manifesting for you in in whichever way you go you know and i'm seeing a lot of personal growth for you cancer all right so i'm gonna move on to your person hopefully that made sense to you and resonated let's see what's going on with the energy of your person for the week All right, spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the energy of the person cancer is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week. Thank you, spirit. First card we have in regards to your person, Cancer, is the Empress in reverse. Could be a Taurus or a Libra. Seven of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. The Death card, Nine of Wands, and the Magician in reverse. The sun at the bottom. Three of pentacles and the four of pentacles. Could be a Leo for some of you. 
Um, we also have Gemini and Virgo. Mm, all right, Cancer. Uh, and Scorpio, I don't know if I mentioned that. So in regards to your person... I don't know about this energy, Cancer. I feel like you have something a lot better um, coming for you because I feel like this is an old energy that you're not interested any in. You're not interested in anymore, and I feel like this person knows that. They know that you're no longer interested in them, or they know that. They're losing you. They know that you're moving on from them. And it makes them very sad. It makes them feel very, you know, upset and um, lonely, depressed. But they're not actually doing anything here. They're not fighting. They're not fighting for you. If before they fought for you, I feel like they're not fighting for you anymore. I'm getting a very defeated energy from this person. They feel defeated. They feel like they've already ruined their reputation with you. They've already ruined the connection with you. They feel like there's nothing left between you two, but... They're still hanging on to your energy because they don't really have anybody else with the Nine of Pentacles. You're the only person that is in this person's life or you're the only person that is significant to them in any way. You're the only person that woke up real feelings and emotions in them. And it's like if they were to erase you from their mind, they would end up with nothing. It's like the memory of you is the only thing that they have to, in regards to like comfort. The memory view is the only thing they have to comfort them or to make them feel a little bit better, even though it makes them feel bad also. Because they miss you and they miss what you two used to sh have together or, or the time you two used to share together. They miss the good times, whatever that means, with the sun card. They miss the, the good times. And they're constantly, they're constantly reminiscing over you. And it's like, it's like whenever they think about you, it makes them feel less lonely, like they feel company. They feel like they're in, in your company when they think about you, when they remember you. But at the same time, it causes sadness because they know that it's, going, it's basically like impossible to, to, recover, to recover the relationship that they used to have with you or the connection that they used to have with you. They feel like there's no chance on, on ever recovering that. So I feel like this is someone who's like grieving here, grieving the loss of you. But they still feel a lot of passion and desire for you, but they don't feel like there's any use in, in doing anything about it, in taking action, because they know that it wouldn't work out anyway because they feel like they've already ruined their chances with you.
Hmm. Let me see. Actually, let me clarify that. What, what holds this person back from cancer experiment? Oh, we have the devil in reverse. So this person might feel like the relationship was toxic between you two. And they feel like you're a lot better off without them. So they, they hold back because they feel like if they were to take action towards you and reconnect with you, it, it would probably turn toxic again because the issues are still, the underlying issues are still the same. Nothing has really changed with them. Or the circumstances haven't changed, like whatever it is, they haven't changed as a person. Cause I, I do feel like you're dealing, I, I do feel like this person is kind of arrogant or like a little bit stubborn with the Nine of Pentacles, um, egotistic. And that hasn't changed. And I feel like they, they know that. So this does feel like an old energy cancer that's coming through. I do feel like you had a new energy though um, popping up on your side of the reading. So I'm going to take a look at that, okay? Spirit, can you tell me about the new person? Um, for those um, cancers that are experiencing a connection with a new person. Please show me. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, let me just change the deck here. Let me not use the same one. So this is for the new person that is in Cancer's life or that is entering Cancer's life. Thank you, Spirit. We have Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Seven of Cups. Oh, Hermit in reverse. And the Four of Cups. Ace of Wands. And the Sun. Let's see at the bottom of the deck. The Three of Wands. Yeah, that's the one you had. That's the card that you had in your reading. With the Five of Pentacles and the Strength. Oh, I see. So this is this is someone who is um, getting out of a relationship. They've recently gotten out of a, of a relationship. Yeah, it looks like this is someone who is going through a separation process here and going through an, uh, an emotional detachment process with, a, with an ex or with a relationship or connection that, they, that they've recently ended things with. So it's interesting because I feel like this person is not necessarily looking to have a new beginning in love. It's just something that happens without them planning for it. So I feel like someone is going to come towards you, not necessarily like looking to have a new beginning in love with you, but I feel like that's what ends up happening, if that makes sense, you know? 
It's almost like they are, they're coming towards you, wanting to have a friendship with you. Wanting to have someone who will hear them out. Someone who they can find comfort in as a friend. But it's like it develops into more than friendship. But it, I don't feel like that's that was their plan, you know? That's not really what they were intending. Though I do feel like there was, there is attraction here with the sun card. There is attraction towards you, but I don't feel like this person was really um, focusing on starting a new chapter in their life. I feel like this is someone who is <clears throat> going through a grieving process here, a separation process. Looking more for a friend than anything else, but I feel like um, it just happens unexpectedly and like just naturally that a relationship develops between you two, a new beginning in love develops between you two. Okay, so that's what I see in regards to the new person here, Cancer. All right, I'm going to end the reading here. I'm going to continue in the extended reading now, and I'm going to take a deeper look at your person and see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you, what are their true and real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week. I'll take a look at, I mean, if the old person shows up, I'll take a look at the new person as well. All right, if you're interested, you can follow me there. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.